All right, welcome everyone to another discussion. Uh, I know you guys have been clamoring for another one of these, another podcast, another long form video where we discuss shmups and the like. Um, joining me today is friend of the channel, friend of shmups, friend of life, uh, Chinopolis. How are you? Uh, not too bad. How are you? Good. I'm yeah. I'm great. It's uh, it's sunny and like thirty degrees here, so I I'm as I'm as good Ooh, as I can be. It's I, like uh, it's like seventy here. What? Okay, all right, <laughs> showing off already. Um, speaking of showing off, Chinop is here to talk with us a, a little bit about his method to clearing a hard game. You know, we've done the beginner beginner shmup discussion. We've done a couple other discussions. You you can see Chinop's um, interview on Shmuptopia. I'll link it below. You know, you know, we're not going to talk about any of that stuff. Now we're going to kind of go over to the intermediate players who are really, you know, getting deeper into the genre and, and selecting games that are much more difficult than learn how to bullet stream and i don't know don't don't mess up your bomb count right we're going to get into and we're going to talk about how to clear games um like the what you can see on the screen here viper phase one which is the game we're going to use as our example how to clear games that are you know way beyond your typical difficulty that require more effort that require persistence that require all of these qualities that make them daunting and difficult um, beyond your beginner clears, beyond maybe some of your intermediate clears. You know, games that, yes, you could sit down for, um, you know, for a long time on a cabinet and, and maybe get a clear, but it's very likely there are methods to expedite that process and, and, and get better. And, and so Chinop's here to talk talk to us about that and, and give us his method. Um, and we're going to use Viper. Viper Phase 1 is kind of like the, back, the backdrop here. So that's the topic for today, clearing a hard game. All you hardcore people wanted us to, you know, wanted us to talk talk to y'all, you know, right? You know, we've been uh, we've been tailored towards the beginners for a little while. So, you know, all you people who who rock through the beginners list and are now looking for the next the next video, you know, this is this is it. This is the you know, you go beginner list, you go this video, and then the next video is going to be how to become jamers. So uh, look out yeah. look out for that one. Um, Special demonstrations, world records. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, becoming the next Moglar. Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before that. How do we clear a hard game? So, um, chin up. Why don't we? Why, why, why don't you talk a little bit about Viper Phase One and just you know w w where where you started here? Yeah, like 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 you're saying, this is going to be more for like games that you're not just going to skill your way through. Like uh, they're going to have they're going to have traps. They're going to have you know things that require memorizations, things that require learning. Um, just you know, it's things that require the dreaded the dreaded words uh save stating but you know we're not we're not worried about that we we, we want to save state we're going to enjoy that so we're going to talk about that today but the first thing you want to do of course is decide what game you want to play um and there can be any reason for that and uh i decided i want to play this because i just got done playing raiden dx a little bit easier mode and i wasn't quite ready to jump into raiden 2 but i wanted another seibu kaihatsu game so I was like looking through the list, saw Viper Phase 1. Okay, that's cool. It looks like a cool game. So I've decided the first step, of course, is picking the game. And this is what I want to play. Um, whenever I'm approaching a game like this, I, the first thing I need to do is figure out how, how much effort this is going to require. Um, and this is going to come with a little bit of experience, a little bit more knowledge of the genre itself. Um, like if I'm playing something like a, co a compile game, I know I'm probably just going to be able to jump into it and just have at it. But this is a Seibu Kaihatsu game. I, I know that this isn't going to be a uh, a little, a, you know, a weekend excursion. This is going to take a little bit of work. So that's whenever I start my my process. Then I do this for just about every game I clear that uh that's going to require, that I know is going to require some work. The first thing you want to do is figure out exactly how difficult the game is. And this is going to require a little scouting. Um, and there's, there's some games have more information than others. And uh, that's actually kind of a, a an indicator. Uh, so the first thing I'll usually do is just hit up the various uh, forums. You know, if you're on Discord, you can ask around. You can see what people have been saying about it. You can just search uh, System 11 game name to pull up the old forums just to see, you know, see some chatter about the game check out their leaderboard see how many people have cleared it but uh you can also another good indicator is hitting up youtube uh search the game name 1cc and just see how many clears there are 
Uh, and also, I'm going to be doing this anyway, because if I'm going to be clearing a game like this, I want to have some good study material. Um, because, yes, like you were saying, you could sit down and uh, practice and just hit the game over and over and over again and try and figure out methods. But games like this a lot of times have very particular methods for approaching different sections of the game. And for players that love exploring, have at it. That's that's great. I know a lot of players, that's that's how they get their enjoyment. It's exploring the games, figuring out the methods, um, just trying out and just seeing what works. But I don't always have really the time or inclination to want to do that. And for me, on a hard game, I know that that's just the beginning, is figuring out the methods. That's just the start. There's also executing. Shmups are hard, so even if you know what to do, there's, it's going to be difficult. So uh, I will a lot of times, like, I'll try it a little bit myself, but I, I want to see, I want to have a good starting place. So I, to have a good starting place, I need to have a good replay to work off of. So uh, that'll be one of the first things I do is, you know, just search the game name once you see and see what pops up. Of course, you, there's some things that you want to filter out. Long plays, uh, cheated runs, which... You know, spend a little time around. You'll see, you'll know which ones are real and which ones aren't. But, and you also start to see a few few names pop up that are that are you know good examples. Like um, for this one in particular, I had one run by uh, Uber Virtuoso, who is also known as uh, GG Maximo or Orc Commander. He is a big fan of uh, of this company's game, so I know that anything that he puts out is going to be really good. Um, and it just so happened too that he has a clear with a uh, closed caption commentary. That's another thing. If you can find a run with commentary, that is worth its weight in gold. Um, because just seeing a clear being done is one thing, but uh, actually having the, you know, the strategies explained can really go a long way. Um, so I, I went ahead and added that one to my my practice uh, playlist. Then I found another one, just like a regular clear by Meekless One. Uh, Meekless One, obviously he's a Cebu fan. So uh, <laughs> his description just says very rough 1cc gameplay. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. Um, I don't want to see super plays if I'm looking for practice material net for just a basic clear. Those those definitely have their their place. Um, and you can still refer to them like there's one that I found. It was like a no miss super high score uh, clear. I took a, a couple looks at that, and I was like, "This is this is useless for me. This is like super advanced tactics with some crazy dodges, timeouts. Like that's that's awesome, and it's great that this that's up there, but that's not really going to be very helpful. Um, I may, if I get stuck and like the other videos aren't aren't giving me answers I need, I may still go to something like that. But that's not uh, uh I'll, I'll keep that in the back pocket. Um, are you so for for stuff like that? Are you like? specifically going okay and we can talk about this later in another in, in, our, in another section mm -hmm. but are you categorizing study material as in like this is a no miss run so if i ever need to rely on a no miss strategy i'll come to this run i probably won't use it for the whole clear but i might come back to this one because i know that you know because that's something that i do you know when i'm looking researching a hard game is because i like to kind of develop my own style like you said before oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and 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 i think my own style is very much like and, and this is the opposite, not the opposite, but this is different than your method, which we're going to definitely mm -hmm. focus on today. But I'll just keep playing until I hit a wall, and then I'll look at the resources that I have and go, who's been able to get past this wall with these resources? Now, there could be yeah. a ton of other things I could have done to maybe have more resources and make it really easy and just bomb the wall or whatever. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'll like go and look at a more skilled run just because they may have a, a no-miss method for a part that... I'm just like reaching there in a way that I, you know, I just don't want to bomb that part. Like I want to no miss this part. I, I don't, or I don't yeah. want to, you know, so, or, or like a particular part that some people use a different ship for, but I happen to stick with my, you know, ship that people don't use. So I'm using, you know, so do you categorize your replays into different, um, like, Hey, this is for X and this is for Y, or do you just kinda keep them all to as a, like reference? Not so much for a degree. It's, it's, okay. it's kind of like for this game in particular, uh, -huh. uh it's so it's tied on resources and whatnot that uh, you're gonna have to know miss some parts anyway, but not not really. Um, that is, that's just it's just gonna be a case by case thing for that. That's gonna be it's a little bit. This is a little bit more general in that like yeah, yeah. if I need to have a different strategy, I will look. Uh, like if one like I said, if one of theirs is not working for me, but um, gotcha. And uh, and we will we will approach like how I'm using these replays more. 
uh, a little bit later too when I get to the save states. Like you, like you said, it's for some games, like I don't even need to do this sex. This I, I do need to speak on that. Like this is this is for a game that I know that it's going to be hard. Like if I there's some games where, yeah, like you said, I'll start playing it and then I won't look up something until I get like totally stuck. But I just know based on this company and based on what I've what I've been sure. through and based on what people are saying that yeah. I'm not going to, like this. That's going to take a very long time. But, um, and then you mentioned like replays to stay away from. You know, obviously we know there's things like long plays and and 60 frames per second and and things like that. That yeah, it's hard to CC, tell. Hardest, it, it, hardest, no death. Yeah, yeah, it's really or like no miss, all bombs or, or no miss, all yeah. bosses, things like that. It's like there's and it's not that maybe some of those are legit. I think it's just there's a there's a great chance that someone's trying to go for like a full no miss or something like that. And it says mm -hmm. like 60 frames per second or, or long play, regardless of whether it's cheated or not. It's still probably not going to be the right, the right replay to I've, start with. No, anyway. I so, very right. Those I mean, are even even if they technically do demonstrate like a way to get through it. I have almost never found those to be useful in any way. Yeah, so take that to heart, guys. Like it's it's not that that's a that's actually a pretty serious thing because I used to watch these videos. Of, of, of like world of long plays and other places that use save states right and the thing about using save states is you can just bang on a section till you luck your way through yeah right or you can slow just, the game down in a way that yeah in, it does practice it doesn't work in practice and it's not consistent really is the more is the most important mm -hmm. thing and we can talk about that consistency piece later but I, I i'm just gonna highlight that because for me i thought shmups were straight up impossible watching a lot of those videos like before i started playing them and I was literally like, yeah, it's cool. That's awesome that you can do that. I don't see a human feasible, humanly feasible way for me to do it. So the genre mm -hmm. must not be for me. Um, so and don't then, feel that way when you see some of those videos. Look for those rough clears. Look for some of those 1ccs from players that have five, six subscribers. Like, they're likely going to be, <laughs> you know, that's what you're looking for. Yeah. They're likely going to be people who've been banging on the game for 60, 80 hours and, and needed something consistent, you, you know, to get through. And then to speak a bit again on your point about this, like the super plays and stuff like that, it's also going to depend on your goal. My goal was just to get a basic clear. Now, if I was going to, if I wanted to get a high score, then yeah, those those higher end replays are going to be useful for you. It's just got to you're just choosing choosing the the correct study material for your goal. Sure. Like you know, you don't yeah. need if you're you in a scoring the, competition, the, maybe you should yeah. study a high score and not even get to stage three because who gives a shit about yeah, the one exactly. CC, right? So, but, it's but just this choosing, is this, this podcast what is, is about clearing a hard game, you know, for the first time, getting that first clear mm -hmm. of something very difficult and uh, speaking of difficulty do you want to talk a little bit about how you transition from like when you're looking at you know you're looking at replays how do you assess the diff like are you as you're looking at these replays how, are you assessing difficulty and how are you assessing difficulty when you're doing that um a lot of the replays is is i don't i don't really actually review the replay in depth too Got much it. i just kind of i'm kind of scrubbing through it a little bit like i don't i don't i still do want to experience the game for myself like you know i'm not just like pre-memorizing things before sure. i even get into the game myself i just kind of want to get a feel for the game most of the assessment it like i said is going to come from prior knowledge um and you know experience the companies the games what people are saying about so it how, and stuff how like do you that. how and do you then, how do you get to that right like you're, you're in the schmuck community it's easy for you right in terms of mm -hmm. like i shouldn't say easy for you but you're you're embroiled inside the genre right <laughs> for maybe someone who's brand new or not even brand new but just now um, starting to explore it like where do you go for resources on a particular company's games or learning about a particular company style like i know i could tell you you know we were joking about this on the lethal thunder kumite just a few just a few days ago of like oh it's an irm game air duel it's an irm game we're never going to get through we know it's a memo mm -hmm. game we we're, we're sure that irm as a company likes to make games that have unseeable sort of unfair traps that you need to know beforehand um how how, how do, would a new player really assess a game based on the company do you think um honestly i think that's just going to come Is from like experience. joining discord okay yeah just just check discussions like i say and checks various forums um because come to you dm you personally is, and ask yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean that are just are just you know if just jump in and try it a couple times you know um if you're not sure gotcha because even even so like watching the replay that you're you're even watching the one that we're going to show later like you can't really appreciate how truly difficult a game is until you get into it but i'm going to speak on that a little bit because the the process is like you you kind of clamp down the heart of the game you know is but uh let's just say that like i know it's generally going to be difficult and i'm going to want to do some practice at this point the the depth of that practice is going to come later once i really dig into the game 
So mm -hmm. just just like, you know, this is the assumption that it's, yeah, okay, this is not a game you're going to clear in a, in a couple hours. But um, I guess then after that, after having, you know, picked a couple of replays out, kind of figured out, all right, I want to I want to go with this game and I know it's going to take a little work. I need to uh, do a little bit more, a little bit more scouting, a little bit more uh, research. Um, this is shmups after all. It's just, you know, it's never just as easy as pop in and start playing. So uh, a couple of things that are important to figure out with these older games is, are there any version differences uh, in, in the particular game? Black label or old version, new version, you know, revision, whatever. Um, that's also going to come from just reading and research and looking up different things. Like in this version, uh, this game, Viper Phase 1, has an old version and a new version. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I saw you in your clear it said new version. What the? Like, yes. Why? Like, What? Explain. <laughs> you, uh, that's just going to come from, from looking up. What's the difference from the new version and the old version? The old, okay, the old version of the game, the uh, extra shots, the, the power-ups you notice in the background here, one I'm shooting a wide shot, one I'm shooting a napalm, uh, those right. are limited in ammunition. And when I say limited, what? I mean uh, if you hold down like 30 hertz auto-fire, you'll run out in about four seconds. Okay. Got it. Um, How did you figure good. that? How did you learn that? You just reading that? reading okay. uh just like just just like i said just search viper phase one got it so you're or the just Schmucks straight up Wiki, google the search. system of 11. got it yeah got you're, it. you're okay. i'm literally researching just kind of information about the game yeah i like the wiki page the shmups wiki uh system 11 forums okay you know they'll they'll have basic information for stuff like that uh and one thing i will it, say about say, research is don't just use one no, place. no, definitely, because like, there is, you know, these games are not super, super well documented, so misinformation right. does does happen. Mm -hmm. I have fallen victim to it uh, plenty of times myself. <laughs> yeah, so just the, take the, all this with a grain of salt too. Take, just take this is, remember, this is a this is a starting point. All right. Uh, the next step is also finding region differences because a lot of times that can affect how difficult a game is. Oh, yeah. um, from what I came across in this game, there's really, fortunately, not too many region regional differences. Uh, in the world and US versions of this game, it loops, whereas the Japanese version it just ends after the first loop. I wanted to see the ending screen, so I just went with the Japanese version. So that's all that that's there was. That's the only that. difference. There, were, there aren't yeah. any difficulty differences. Fascinating. Nope. That's, that's that's pretty rare. I mean, you know, I, I, and oh, I'll, yeah. just give, I'll just give like the folks a couple examples on my end where it's like, hey, if you're playing like, for example, Sorcerer Striker versus, you know, oh, yeah. Maho Daisakusen. Yeah, those are those are Maybe very, not vastly different, but, but it's a pretty solid no, difficulty. It's, like, it's, it's a like loop two difference. equals loop one on yeah, the other yeah. one sort of thing. And then the other one was um, R type Leo. Yeah. If you're playing like the oh, Japanese yeah, version, there's actual mechanical it has checkpoints, right? Whereas if you're playing R type Leo World, you get to respawn on the spot. Um, yeah, and then uh, same with like Raiden. Uh, Raiden DX, I think it's like the one player ship has checkpoints and the two player ship doesn't have checkpoints, which leads into the next point, which is uh, actually that's a couple points a little bit later, uh, figuring out which ship to use. But we'll get to that in just a second. But yeah, regional differences are uh, they can make a big difference in the game mechanically, difficulty wise or not at all, which is the case of this game. And well, a minimal difference in that there's loops. So technically, you get more game for the uh, for the U.S. and world version, but like I said, I wanted to see the ending screen. I wasn't planning on trying to loop this game, so I just wanted to play the Japanese version. That's just totally preference. Um, and then once I've actually fi finally selected the game and version that I want to play, it's actually figuring out a little bit more mechanical details of the games. Like this is kind of like what I'm up against. Like, are there any extends? Um, if there are extends, are they hidden extends? Are they scoring extends? Some of these games, you know, the hidden extends you'll stumble across. But some of them are like ridiculous, like in um, uh, what was it, uh, V5, where oh it's God. like don't the kill box. one box on this. stage three, <laughs> and then two stages later you destroy this particular background element, then you get the extend. You're not figuring that out on your yeah. own other than blind luck, and even if you do figure it out, you're not going to know what you did. Yeah, I, I ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, just look up for stuff like that. If their scoring extends, that's going to affect my approach of the game. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately for the purpose of the discussion, uh, Viper Phase 1 has no extends, whether they're hidden or score. So um, that's another discussion. Like, you know, if you want to play for score, then by all means, that's going to change your approach of the game. Um, if if there's no scoring extends, then I can basically just ignore all of that and it just makes things a little bit more straightforward. But if there are, you have to, you have to uh, implement that. Um, 
then aside from that, then you have to figure out, all right, how does rank work in this game? Is there any rank? And this game in particular, uh, I didn't actually find any literature on the rank system. Oh, great. Uh, so I just had to kind of go at just it. Like, does but it from work? what I Is discovered, it <laughs> uh, it's just... I mean, we know that Ryan only has only two rank, lives, so you would think yeah, that this game it's has It's like when you die... Rank. Yeah, it has rank. The longer you live, the faster bullets get. When you die, it goes down. But it's with only two lives, there's nothing you can really do to control it. It's not like certain games, like, of course, the famous Battle Garega, Battle uh, Armed Police Bat Rider, stuff like that. Yes, rank is going to completely dictate how you play those games. And then to a lesser extent, something like, um, well, I guess it's not really that much lesser. Something like Gun Frontier, where your auto fire, when and where you use your auto fire is going to affect the rank. Fortunately, this is a pretty simple one. Uh, you don't really have to worry about rank, so you can just play the game. And, and um, I guess another, th another piece on rank I want to mention, just the, not this game, but back to your point on scoring, right? So, mm -hmm. not every game, but a lot of games, the way the way it can kind of work is that if you're doing heavy scoring, sometimes that can be tied to the rank. So just, you mm -hmm. know, it's something to keep in mind. So if you're going for a basic clear, you may want to you know specifically ignore scoring but even but even potentially uh like work your way around scoring to keep the rank low or if yeah. the scoring gives you an extend you may have to actually balance some level of rank versus scoring versus extend yeah sort for of sure triangle and even then sort. if the scoring is so difficult like for example dima who it's yeah. it's potentially easier to ignore the the scoring system and just get one extend versus going all in on the scoring system to try to get that second extend if you're just going for a basic clear. So these are just more things that you have to consider, uh, and that's getting a little bit more granular and like that's going to be more of a game by game thing. Sure. But these are all things that you need to consider just whenever consider. you're approaching yeah. a hard game. Um. All right. So then once you've got that groundwork, it's then starting into your particular game again, uh, choosing a ship. Uh, of course, ships are very different, and can some of them are busted, some of them are easy to use. Um, and then also on top of ships, Cebu likes to make differences with their player one and player two, like in Raiden DX, player two has faster diagonals and no checkpoints, whereas player oh, one has faster horizontals and checkpoints. So that's a big, <laughs> uh, that's important. Oh, jeez. Um, that's but in this up. game, yeah, that's the, the, the you know shmups, shmups getting crazy out there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What side of the cabinet are you on? Are you on the left side? Oh, get, get, <laughs> hopefully, get, hopefully the joystick this. works on that side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> they, that's the side that people have been playing on. I'm, I'm, I bet you the other side's gonna have crisper, crisper JLFs <laughs> over there. You know, I, I, I but, think it's uh, like, do you so do you just take, do you just go like, all right, back to your point of study material. You got the mm -hmm. Orc Commander uh, replay, uh, the uh, Uber Virtuoso, sorry, is the right YouTube name, replay. You've got mm -hmm. this other replay. Are you just, like, not for this game, maybe, because there's only two ships, but for another game, are you just saying, all right, everybody seems to be using this ship, I'm just going to go yes. with it? Or do you, you know, um, for, like, I'm, I'm going to take that, as, a, take that as, a, as an indicator that there's okay. probably yeah, a reason yeah, yeah, yeah. why. Yeah, because right. like so you won't always find. That's another thing is you know there's not always going to be that information out there for you to read and just plain spell spelled out plainly. You just may see everybody's using this ship. Okay, I you guess, don't know why, I guess but it's just yeah, what you don't know why. Yeah, so that 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 actually makes. I have a funny anecdote about that. I, I was playing the GI <laughs> Joe arcade game, which for those that know is like a one dimensional dodging but two dimensional shooting. Uh, basically, oh, it's yeah. wild okay, guns. It's one. wild guns, but mm -hmm. you can't jump. So it's just literally wild, one-dimensional wild guns. Anyways, Jamers cleared the game, and I said, "Hey, you know, I'm I'm a I've been playing this game as a kid, you know, Chuck E. Cheese's and stuff. I always pick Snake Eyes because I'm like, look at that, that guy's a fucking ninja. Like he's like skiing and shit. Like I don't this guy looks cool. Looks cool. I want to be <laughs> I want to be Snake Eyes. And I was like, well, why'd you pick Roadblock? And he's like, look, man, all the replays I saw picked Roadblock. I'm like, do you know if there's any character difference? He's like, no, I don't know, but. <laughs> no, I know that everyone's using Roadblock, so I picked uh -huh. Roadblock. So you know, this isn't just you know, take it. Don't take it just from us. Like that's Jamers, you know, uh -huh. high class, clear, clear aficionado who's just like, look, I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel here. Everyone's using a round wheel. Maybe I don't try mm -hmm. the square right now. Um, maybe I just go with the round and see how it goes. But yeah, that's that can also. I actually, you say that, but that's that's another step. Sometimes, if there is no information at all, I will just sit there and clear like stage one with do every ship and see if any yeah just do actually do testing just to see if there's any differences that jump out at me um it's probably a good you know, segue, part of the groundwork 
Yeah. I actually, I actually, uh, I actually enjoy doing that. Just going through, and then sometimes you know, there's not really any major differences, and that's that'll be part of part of the, you know the ship selection process. Is play the first five minutes of the game with each ship, get to full power, see how it feels for you, and then go with one. You may end up you know getting halfway through the game and realizing, oh god, this is not working, and then just go back. But um, hopefully there's some information out there for you, so you don't have to you know spend a bunch of time if you're that's not what you're wanting to do. But this is, again, this is my process. This is how I, you know, I don't always have a whole lot of time to do stuff like that. I, sometimes I want to just get in and start getting clears going. So if the information's already out there and the work's already been done, I'm for sure going to gonna work off that. Um, but being that there's no differences in the ships in this game, there are, in fact, differences in the shots. There's, in this game, there are four subshots. Uh, see, it's L, M, N, and W. Um, wait, wait, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. La uh -huh. L is laser, M uh -huh. is missile, N is uh -huh. napalm, and W uh -huh. is wide? Yep, you got it. You've been playing nice. some shmups in your I day, played a you? shmup. Yep. I played a shmup yep. once. Yep. <laughs> uh, and hey, actually, they're alpha also in alphabetical order. Ooh, but do they cycle in alphabetical order? Are there cycling yes, power-ups? Yes, they do. Oh, wow. they, Better they than do Rekka. cycle, but well, Did you dude, heard it here the first. cycling... The cycling in this game is very nice. I enjoy it. Um, well, to a degree. For as good as cycling can be in a game like this. But, uh, every, you know, I read everywhere, all right, you pretty much only want to use W. Um, okay, like, okay. So, you know, you get in the game, you, you, you know, you, you, I, I have that in mind, but I still want to, you know, play around with the other shots a little bit. Uh, you'll, you'll, in, in this game in particular, you'll quickly discover that if you don't have the coverage of wide, you're going to be kind of screwed. So yeah, that was a, that was a good call on other people that have played this game. Um, so I know that I pretty much want to get W and stick to it. Is this so, a game uh, where when you switch, like, do you have a lot of opportunities to switch back and forth? So if you do a, a make a mistake, or are you dodging power up, saying like, oh my god, if I if I touch anything but W, I am about dead. I'm just curious because, uh, and, and then are you watching replays like to see like, hey, do, it, like, because one of the things I was watching like recently, I was watching a truck and replay. And I saw someone switch power-ups a couple times for specific sections where it wasn't really, mm -hmm. like, stick with this the whole game. It was like, stick with this for 80% of the game, but you might want to use this for this well, part. Like, is that kind of a see, thing? Well, that's the thing. Uh, kind of. But then you had to remember, if you're not going for, like, you know, ultra super play replays, there's going to be mistakes still in the replays that you're Got watching. It. Yeah. Like, these are not, like, you're not, you're not getting a replay just to follow it screen by screen. You're getting kind of a general outline of how to approach things. Um, so some, this is, like I said, this is all the starting point. Um, as you practice and as you start doing save states and get going through like actual full segments, you'll kind of get more of a feel of what you can and can't do with, you know, weapon switching and stuff like that. In this game in particular, uh, yes, you want to, as much as possible, avoid picking up other weapons. Um, it's not necessarily a death sentence, but it's putting you at a disadvantage. Yep. Um... All right, so now you have all your, your basic information, then you want to figure out uh, how does auto fire, what's the auto fire situation. Some games have built in, most older games do not. We're going to assume that you know how to set up auto fire. Um, in this game in particular, you want your 30 hertz, but uh, with due to shot limit, I also want to use a non auto fire button, which in this game is about 10 hertz. A lot of these Sabu games have the other non auto fire button, is just literally you shoot once. So I'll end up setting up like multiple buttons. I'll have one button with the 30 hertz auto fire, uh, one button with something like 6 to 10 hertz, and then just the basic, you know, one shot button if I want to tap. And then, of course, your bomb button. This is something that I actually started doing recently that I saw that uh, Orc Commander does. In these Seibu games, he actually, and now I, will set the bomb uh -oh. to auto fire. What? Um, yes, because there's you know various strategies oh, know you, you need to bomb okay. quickly as like without delay like kind of they just didn't the, in well, the yeah background yeah, yeah. Look, at that. Per look at that perfect uh cheating from the uh from yeah, the, uh, the track screen the right there bombs boom, but no, boom, there boom. Some... three bombs in a row four now <laughs> but yeah like a couple of frames can make a difference so sure. I, you just want those bombs to come out quickly especially but, because you know, in this that's, game that's the bombs a... don't give you iframes right yes so, that's you, another thing you kind of kind of figuring out you know, if, are the bombs instant or are they like uh, delayed? But that's just going to come with playing the game. Particulars like that, we're not really too worried about okay. like that particular. Got just it, got it. So you're not looking at this. resources and stuff like that yet. You're you're we're still no, like no. you're still like all right. What's the general gist of it? Cool. Yeah, but th that's that's a little bit more of a particular strategy. It's something that I, I I picked up here recently. I never thought to auto fire 
uh, have auto fire in the bombs. But yeah, you know, I'll make sure I'm doing that for real. Oh, that's a ton. That's awesome. I'm good thing yeah, I put always, it in cross. You're always learning new things. Yeah. I'm I am <laughs> I am I, I've said this before. I'm not real great <laughs> at figuring out strategies myself. So I, I'm always learning new things. Um, oh, yeah. But I think that's pretty much all the groundwork. All and right. uh, at this point, I have everything. I'm ready to go. I have my control set. I have my auto fire. I have my main up and running. I am ready to get in and to start feeling the game out and making save states. Uh, anything else you wanted to touch on before we move on to no, that? No, let's talk about save states. Uh, this is um, this is something that I feel like if you don't do, and I don't, so I'm one of the people yeah. that doesn't really do it that much. <laughs> now, now to be fair, I've started doing it for certain games because I'm just I want to. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'll say. If you don't, I'm trying to figure out the right way to say this, but if you don't do this, you are, you're basically welcoming, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're like going to the front door, ding dong, uh, hi, frustration here. Hey, come on in, buddy. Um, take a seat. Uh, you, you want a coffee? Like, how long do you want to stay? You know, that's like, that's playing shmups without, without save states. It's like, hey, hi, uh, beating that's my play, head against Okay, that's playing harder games without save right. states. Right, well, I mean... And not every, not sure, every game sure. is like but that. But I mean, but, but I think... a lot I, of them are. I think, I think <laughs> some games, frustration will come in and he'll leave out the back door pretty immediately. In other games, he's going to stay for a while. And I think... Oh, yeah. If you have that stamina, awesome, right? Yeah, for if sure. If you want to skip some of those steps and say like, hey, uh, I don't want to do seven minutes of something i know to get to 10 seconds of something i don't to try 10 <laughs> things if i want to try 10 things that would take me an hour and 10 minutes um yeah all exactly. i'm saying is it's your choice but just just realize that if you're if you're one of those people out there who are, who are just kind of not using safe states and just going going front to back it, there's nothing wrong with it. You are taking a, a, a significantly harder path, especially with certain kinds of games. Yeah, and, and you know, even like people like Collision, who was like, well, I interviewed him last year, and and like, he's very old school. He was a collector first, gamer second, then he turned into a shmupper. You know, he's got these games legitimately on the right platform, real hardware, all that kind of stuff. He's like, yeah, I save state. Are you nuts? He's like. <laughs> Dude, when, when emulators came out, I mean, it just helped people get better. Why would you not take that opportunity to practice on an emulator? And then and then you and then you bring out your real Genesis and you do your runs on there. But, I, I, you know, I just wanted to say, like, save states is, is uh, it's, you know, if you're not doing it... Is it is a very useful tool. Yes. If you're not doing it, just realize that you are taking, regardless of how difficult the game is, you are taking a harder path one way or another. It might be slightly harder or it might be a lot harder depending on yeah, the game, and, but it's definitely harder. And, I, and like I, I, I'm going to touch on here in a little bit, this is just the beginning. Just save stating is not a, a you know, a silver bullet to... <laughs> Wait, you're right, saying if I don't create done, a save state, I win? I don't automatically win? <laughs> what? No wonder yeah. I don't do it. It sucks. Shit. <laughs> it, it's not quite no, that I'm simple. Kidding. Tell me more. All right. But, I mean, it's a it's a pretty straightforward process. Everybody says, how does, you know, oh, just save state it. So, okay, well, how do you save state it? What what's, what's a good method? I, everybody's going to have their own methods, but I've had, this is what I do for basically every game, and I found that it works for me. It's pretty straightforward. You know, I'll start a game, throw in a credit, play through the first stage, and then just hopefully can get through at least stage one. And then when I get to the boss, you know, here's, here's, here's all my save states. All right, I'll so for those uh, listening, this is now the perfect time to look at the screen because we've got Chinop showing <laughs> us all of all of his all of his four hundred thousand save states. I we, what letter? And are there's we on? a N? there's a method to the madness here, and no. it actually makes sense. No, these are just random, so, right? These are random, <laughs> random oh, yeah. places in the game. No, no. Um, I'll get to the first boss. Save state F five one. All right, here's boss one. Immediately can jump in, start fighting it, try out different things, clear the boss. Here's stage two. All right, I can jump into stage two. So Number, begin, beginning uh, of stage two? Yep, yep, beginning of stage two. Keyboard okay. three, boss two. And so on, stage three. Damn, you just got shot. Actually. Right you Damn, you really suck. Oh, God, yeah. Are you sure See you got to but You got to be careful about safe stating just kidding. and bad situations. Yeah, what's, uh, which uh, what that can you, be. Okay. Sometimes, you know, it, it may be useful to, uh, to uh, hotkey a button to pause. But my, that's my general outline. I will. Um, so sta stage start, save state, boss start. Stage, stage start, start, boss start, start. Yeah, guaranteed. But you'll notice here on stage three, here's stage three beginning. My next one on five is the middle of stage three. 
because this section here, which uh, we'll see a little bit later, gave me a lot of trouble. Uh, ooh, nice. Ooh, nice yeah, going around the world there. Oh, yeah, God. That oh, was actually ah, not oh, what the best are you doing? Way. Oh, I'm, <laughs> but and then you these are like I said, this is a starting point. Like I will if I die then I will start the stage over and I'm just going to continue to do stage three over and over again until I can get to the to the boss. So this is kind of like a a learning slash scouting part of the game. So like, let me ask you a question here because I'm not I'm not using optimal optimal strategy. No, I'm just trying, trying to, to get, get to, the, to next, the boss. Yeah, get yeah, to the I'm, next I'm basically so, like setting the the pitons in the mountain. I'm getting I'm getting getting up the mountain at this point. P, P, get ready to piton. Um, so yes, the, 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 like all right. Mm -hmm. I'm an idiot, right? So this is going to mm -hmm. be something. So here's here. If you're doing this, are you basically mm -hmm. looking to no miss the whole game through save states, or are you allowing misses? Now, for certain games okay. where there's like where there's like rank situations or, or bomb situations, like as you're going through just to get to like just to set the save states, right? I'm not. That, we're not even talking about practice. Yes. I'm just like get through mm -hmm. the pitons. Are you going no bomb, no miss pitons, or are you doing like? Fuck it, I gotta drop a bomb here and there. Um, and then you get I to the end and you go, fuck, I gotta like redo my pitons now because no. I don't have enough resources. Like, how do you okay. do this effectively? All right, so that is a very good question. So I am, the first step is to try several times to fight the boss, you know, without using without using bombs, without dying. That is the goal. I want to f be able to fight okay. this boss and not have to use any, any bombs. If I can do it, uh, then great. You know, it, it it didn't take too much effort. Like if I start fighting this boss and realize, oh God, what's happening here? Why is this shooting so much stuff? Uh, okay, well actually, I, 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 my my research I mean, just kicked yeah, in and you, actually killed that. Yeah, you have muscle memory of this boss, but I yeah. get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, oh like, God, like, oh, oh look God, at these red shots. What, what, what uh, why uh, is this happening? Okay, right. um, I will try a few more times, and then if I can't figure out how to do it without bombing, that's when I'll like take a peek at the replay, see what they do. All right, turns out literally everybody that fights this boss uses a bomb here. Um, and then you'll kind of get a feel as you play through the game. Okay, this game gives you quite a few bombs. So I don't need to, I don't need to, you know, hold off on using every one of my bombs. So I can, you're I can referencing use my bombs where replays they need to see where their pitons are. To say, yes. is, this a, is this a no miss, no bomb piton? Or is uh -huh. this a, a, a fucking all exactly. right, a couple bombs here, whatever? Yes. Or maybe even if players make mistakes on certain bosses, like they miss on a yeah. boss, oh, they're yeah. like, you're fine, there's, I can uh, miss on this boss, that kind of thing. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that, that's actually another very good point. But I, I find that, okay, everybody's bombing this one, and they're still getting through the game, so I'm going to okay. bomb this one. And Got then, um, okay. but that being said, I'm not just straight up copying the strategy. Like, I saw that Orc Commander, he had a particular strategy. I tried that. It was just not working for me. It was just way too particular. It worked for him, but it didn't work for me. So I checked the other replay. Okay, he had a much more aggressive strategy where he was just going up straight into the boss and immediately bombing. But then he's just doing some like crazy dodges. I'm like, oh my God. So it's like, okay, that's this is whenever I start to experiment a little bit. This is when I found out, all right, if I destroy these sections of the boss, it immediately takes out that. And I can just swing over here, wait for that, go up, a little bit sus, and just kind of swing out. Give myself plenty of room. Mm. Oh, and die. But you get the point. Right. It was about so, to die. <laughs> well, let me. Well, so and is this now? Is this in the process? Have you been to stage three yet? And you're coming back? Okay, or is I'm, this I'm still getting a little like bit ahead of myself two? now. Yeah, no, it's fine. I, little... I brought you ahead, but I'm just trying to yeah, put it yeah, in context. Yeah. Right? No, um, i I want to get. I want to get kind of a a general. All right, this strategy. Got it. Works. Not this may not be the best strategy, but I can I can you know right. I, and once I get it I'm it, it got you through getting, and you're it got just me through. I'll try state. it another time okay. or two. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, not consistent, I'm not, I'm not, but it's just you got through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got I it. want to. I I can't. It's not useful to try and memorize the entire game in order right now because that is going to be a, take yeah. a long time and it's going to be it's too much information to absorb that. Quickly. So you wouldn't recommend people literally go like. All right, stage one. What's Jamers doing for stage one? Let me copy yeah, Jamers yeah. to stage one. Okay, that takes a and, week, but, and now Jamers is stage two. Now let's do stage mm -hmm. two. Like you wouldn't necessarily recommend that. And then that. You another thing to or, your point earlier about how yeah. many resources you want to you want to use. Like uh -huh. I could go this and get like to stage five and realize, oh god, the difficulty ramps up tremendously, and I do need those bombs. So if I just spent all this time perfecting a strat on stage two, that's not useful to me. I'm. This is kind of like just setting get get getting myself like. 
practice, like setting up a stage select more or less, as I'm setting up boss select and stage select. Hopefully, mm -hmm. like if you're not playing on MAME and you're playing on like, you know, a, an M2 port, then this is this is basically building what's in that M2 port. Just so I can go back and practice the section that I need to practice. Yep. But like I said, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of games don't have that. So the, I do have to do this process. Of course. But uh, to yeah, your point no, earlier. I mean, any, I mean, most arcade games, right? Like 99% yeah. of them don't have ports oh, yeah, for where sure. you have stuff set up. I mean, you could set like, even on the arcade archives, you can only set the one save state, right? So mm -hmm. you're you're still, you know, you can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're limited in some ways. And and I'm guessing that's why you're like advocating the use of like Final Burn or, or MAME or whatever for yeah, things yeah, like arcade games. Like so that. you can you set know, up arc, multiple whatever. save states because, you know, I guess in some hard games, maybe like if it's a console game or something, and you can't save and state then, like maybe you don't have 15 save states and you just gotta rely well, and on that's another that's another good point like, that, like but... in this game like a lot of times i really don't need this many save states but sure. again that's this part of the process a lot of times i can just do you know one for the boss one for the stage and hopefully it's like you know yeah. six stage game 12 states and i'm good for everything but for this one like all right this this stage is kind of hard um uh, the first section is kind of its own segment, and it's like, okay, it, it took me a good 20 minutes just to get through the first section of the stage. Now I got to do the second section of the stage. Like, I don't want to spend, like, five sure. minutes every time to get yeah. through just the second half of the stage and then possibly screw it up. So I make another save state at the beginning of the hard section so I can practice this hard section that kind of pops up out of nowhere and then know what to do there and then build a, a method for this part of the stage. And that's an, one good thing about this game is it's kind of split up into segments. So I uh, like based on what enemies are spawning and whatever, there's a little bit of pause and I know that I can, you know, that's the, the start of the next segment of this stage. But that's pretty much the method. Just go, go through make spots for each boss, uh, you know, in another hard section. Like this is a pretty tough game. So I ended up having to make split most of the stages into a beginning, middle and boss. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. And then like, yeah, like we were talking about earlier, uh, Gigi Maximo's replay, which he has more replays at this point. He's gone to the second loop. This was just the one that happened to have commentary. On his clear, I saw that he died in this boss. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, this game's not so tight where I can't die. I saw that yep. he he died here, so I'm like, okay, that, that yeah, gives me a little whatever. bit of breathing room. I mean, you also then, uh, clearly have two lives. Like, you know that you yeah. have to die at some point, whether but it's at it's the end of the like, game or know, the middle of the game. At some point, you know, you, and that's something that I, I will, that's, I mean, it's an, I think it's important, right? Because Mm -hmm. In general, when you know players think about mastering a game or, or, or going to clear a game, that there's this level of like mastery that you feel like you need to have, and then there's a level of mastery you actually need to have. And, and yes, the and funny that's, thing that's is, also going to be. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was just gonna, that's also going to be a little preference because if uh, Dace yeah. just talked about this in his last video where he talked about yeah like uh, he knows that he could have just you know spam bombed and got through the game but he yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. do he didn't want to use the bombs he wanted to and he wanted to get sure. a little bit better score because this is this is all about like I said this is my method this is just I want to yeah, get through yeah. this game like well I guess what I'm trying so. to say is for me if you're looking for and and this is exactly what it is it's not trying to diminish what you've done or anything like that but if you're looking for the shortest most critical path to a clear a clear is a clear is a clear right whether mm -hmm. you mastered a section or whether you bombed the hell through it like a clear is a clear that's that's definitely what we subscribe to and if you're looking for the clearest of the clear and you're you just want to get through the game lives are a resource they're a resource yes. to spend like you don't yep. need to perfect every stage now there's also this concept and you've talked to me about this before where it's like okay there's sections where you could die, but you may not. And then there's sections where you're likely going to lose a life. And it's all about balancing. Okay, if there's a section where you're going to likely lose a life, then plan for that. But the other sections across, let's say, three or four or five sections of the game, you can maybe miss once or twice, but you just can't miss all all of them. Yeah, so it's like, it's, you, it can't, gotta... it's never going to be 100%, but you don't, you don't have to nail everything. You just can't not nail, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of it. Like, you can't you gotta, lose you're all gonna, of it. And you're going to... That's, that's why I don't spend too, too much time this first time through like i'm not just going to go up to the boss and like okay here's the boss time to bomb spam all right made it to the boss that's not useful at all either like i got nothing out of that sure i need to have a a okay. a, a general approach this first time through like i want to i want to i'm feeling it out i want i want yeah. to see yeah. like how hard it is yeah. well that's the beauty um, of save states right there's no stress there's yeah. really no there's literally no yeah stakes and that's, at that's, all. that's that's why you're not I in a run so much you can just you can take yeah, your time I'm, and, I'm, and explore. I'm, I'm playing with the boss seeing what it does you know kind of experimenting like 
can I can I like you know go crazy and like you know go up to the side of the boss like oh yeah. nope he didn't like that didn't like that yeah no totally it, you know certain bosses and actually there's bosses in certain games that if you get too close to them they do an attack they would never do if you never got close oh, to oh yeah, and they do that in this game stuff for like sure. oh really because that, that that's something yeah. that I didn't notice for the longest time in like Dodon Pachi but when I first started save stating like or, or at least I wasn't save state it was stage practice but it's the same thing. And I went up to that stage two boss, the big tank in Dodon Pachi, and the tank fired mm -hmm. a shotgun at me and just killed me. And I was like, wait, what? You have like anti point blanking technology? That's cheap. Uh -huh. um, but it was something that like I would have hate to have happened in a run. So yeah, having yeah. that like familiarity or knowledge of like, you know, it's kind of like in a fighting game, you're just, you're just, you know, you're just trying to session against somebody for a little while in casuals and mm -hmm. be like, all right, what are they capable of? What am I capable of? What are safe things to do? What are risky things to do? what will they do if i do something crazy like that oh that was sick yeah like that like oh wait there's a safe spot right there um incredible so yeah very nice oh I still died yeah this <laughs> boss sucks but yeah you saw like that strategy i did not come up with that strategy myself but just by seeing that strategy in the replay even seeing it, it took me probably a good 30 minutes of just sitting down hammering safe states to figure out the timing on that like, and it ended up being I needed to do that because that boss was just that hard. Like the stage one boss, I may I may have practiced that once ever. Stage stage like three boss, give it a couple attempts. This boss, like you'll find that there's some sections that you just have to hammer over and over and over and over and over again, and it's not going to be even. But that's the point of having safe states. When you say um, even, are you talking about like boss RNG? Difficulty. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, no, yeah. Well, I mean that's another thing. There's there's fortunately not a lot, not a lot of RNG in this game, but that's just something else to consider. But gotcha. yeah, that's that's okay. that's why you have save states. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just go through, just going through the end of the game, um, finding all the different practice, practicing the different sections, getting a feel for the game, and then um, yeah, let me pull up. Uh, so you so for the for the viewers here at home, you made a you made a compilation of several practice. Let's call them attempts. And yeah, okay. Well, and, that's that's, that's leading into the the next section. Yeah. Um, you want to pull so you made up all and... your save states. Uh -huh. um, yeah, let's, just a second. Let's. I think let's 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 close out this thing on save stating. Um, oh, there's more. Let's talk about. There's more no. to save states than meets the eye. See, this is where I'm the neophyte here. Keep us honest. <laughs> no, channel. that's that's basically it. It's like, uh, you know, you've got your save states for the entirety of the game. Um, you know, you might you. I will then go back kind of in reverse order and hit each section a little bit to where I have a general mm. idea. I know that I'm not. For a game this hard, I'm not just going to, you know, pop in a credit clear, which you might. It depends on the game. Like, if it's kind of a medium difficulty game and the game has, like, you know, a decent amount of resources and there's only a couple of memo traps in the game, you may go through, figure out those memo traps, figure out those particularly tough bosses, and then pop in your credit. You know what to do. All right, you cleared it. Great. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so you're saying, like, in some games, you do that first save state method is... and you learn so much that you're like, you know what? I can just start playing. Like, I can go straight. Yep. Immediately go straight for a clear. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, but, and it, but and for it a harder sometimes. game, it's very unlikely that, or at least you yeah, would think I, that at this point, you're, you're kind of, you know, you can see all the land ahead of you and, and everything, all the obstacles, but you're not quite sure how you're yes, going to get through all and, this. And there, I know that there are so many different little particular segments that, yeah, I know how to do each segment in a vacuum. I need to know how to mesh all these together and how they okay. flow into each other, in addition to actually fully memorizing them and knowing how to how to, how to approach them. So this is like this is just the beginning. Okay, got uh, I now have my I now have my my path, my my save states. I'm ready to start throwing in some credits and seeing what happens. So now I think would be a good time to. Uh, All right. Let's yeah, let's 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 pull up let's pull up the reel. I call it here. Let me. Uh, do I need to stop my thing? Oh, you're good. I got you. Okay. I call it practice. Or call it doing runs, but it's it's I'm practicing and just seeing what happens. And like you said, like I said, you know, you may you may throw in some credits and you get all the way to the, like three quarters of the way through the game. Or what may more likely happen is what I'm going to demonstrate here. All right, we've got the reel going, so let's talk about it. <laughs> yep, yeah, you know, it's a. Uh, this is actually you know this is I, I enjoy I personally really enjoy safe state practice because the stakes are low. You know, I'm just, I'm sitting here, I'm learning, I'm, I'm, uh, checking out bosses, but, you know, you sit down, you know, all right, let's see how tough this game is. Gonna throw in a credit, gonna 
you know get a feel for the game and the game will feel different when you're in a, in a, in a full run you know it's, it's it's a little scary uh but you know you're hopeful you know you've, you've got your strats you're ready to go you know, getting a feel on that stage and then you die to the first thing that's happened that you see in the game that's and stage you realize, one <laughs> that's that's stage one and you realize dear god what am i in for <laughs> what I have done here is I have recorded every single death that I experienced sequentially in my uh, journey to clearing this game. Like, it, it it's going to take time. It's going to take uh, a lot, a lot of back and forth. It's going to take a lot of repracticing. Um, and then as you, at this point, I'm kind of <laughs> another stage one death. Uh, at this point, <laughs> enjoying I'm, your own fails a little bit. Yeah, I, 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 it's it's a little cathartic, cathartic seeing uh, this over again. Yeah, but I'm not too worried about this because I'm still at this point. I'm I'm learning. I'm 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 not expecting a clear at this point. I'm I want to piece it together. Um, and you'll see a lot of deaths in the same places. And I'll, I'll, what, what I'll do is like, okay, I keep dying on the stage two boss. So after this run, I'm going to go in and hammer stage two for three or four more times. All right, okay, I have a decent strategy. Go back in. All right, I die again. All right, maybe I need a new strategy. Um, just looping back to save states. Um, and then you'll start dying in sections that you didn't think were hard in, when you were practicing. So then maybe you need to go back and start from there and add in another seg segment inside that stage. So you can just hit hammer that a little bit more. Um, it's, it's, this is, this is, this is why I don't really buy into the whole thing that like save stating is, is like, you know, it's, it's a shortcut, but it's not a, it's not just going to give you the clear, like. What, what, what advice would you give to people who like get into save states and they just keep dying over and over again and they don't feel like it's actually helping and they're just, you know, it, or, or, or I should say it this way. It's like, they don't, there's no pressure during the save state. So everything feels really different and you're just kind of like, well, it's okay if I die 30 times in this and then just win once, you know, do you, do you feel like there's a way to like, you know, bring that pressure into save state situations? So you, so um, you, you know, or, or, or oh, I, I, I guess I it, it, it's, um, it's like kind of like practice is just kind of like, all right, you're kicking a ball, but you're not in the game. So whatever, right? Yeah, the yeah. ball misses I, all the time and whatever, right? How do you yeah, bring it's real, just, it's just the part of the process. You have to, you have to think. I mean, you're not, you can't, and that's 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 one problem. That's one limitation of safe states, which is why doing full runs is is still important. Hmm. Um, yes, it is very good to practice all the different bosses and to have a good strategy for everything, but you cannot replicate Ooh, that feeling that of a full tough, run. That's why, that tough yeah. Jeez. Yeah, you'll see weird stuff like that. Like that one, that one little thing of the boss popped yeah. out and shot up at me. Like, you'll see all kinds of things that, you, that never happened in safe states because... You may you may oh. not have realized that yeah that you, you were uh, trying to run away from that bullet just use your yeah. ship speed and it was not happening and see like even after the save states I still don't really have a full feel for how the, how the game is 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 you know how the ship handles like there we what go. I can stage can't one do. baby stage one you got this <laughs> you got this stage one I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen at all I can guarantee you this is gonna be a nice and easy stage one just running into the power up <laughs> carrier <laughs> again. That's two. Okay, I wasn't expecting uh, this that. Is, this is whenever I learned that this game has zero ceiling. There is this game does not care for your your proximity oh to the tanks. Oh my no, clearly not. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. There's like I said, the save state is only the beginning. This is when I'm really learning what the game is about and what I can't. This gives this is giving context to the save states. Um, because you may go through a save state, save go, go through the stage once or twice, and not even realize that you got lucky, or that maybe there was some little bit of RNG. Um. So this is you, you have to do you have to do the full run. So it's like you're not just save stating for the clear. You're that's just half of the process. Maybe not even not even half. It's 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 giving you like a place to go back to after you're clear. It's like, all right, I keep dying on this section over and over and over again. I need to go back and practice this section. Gotcha. But, it's kind of um, reminding me of the of the professor staring practice method, you know, video because yeah, he talks about having is, like a checklist of like stage one, part one, part two, part three, boss, and then it's just like, get, did I get it three times in a row? 
No? Okay, I'm oh, just going to do yeah, this like part, right? That kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's the thing. Like, as I'm sitting down for doing this, I'm not, all right, I'm going to clear this game today. No, I'll, like, sit down. All right, today I would like to get to stage three in a full run. Like, okay, I got to stage three. Great. Um, I may have died four times or three times and game over immediately in stage four, but, you know, I got a little bit further. And then uh, and just what go is... on from there. All right, I made it to the stage five boss. Okay, the stage five boss has killed me a lot. I'm going to practice that today. I, I'm... I'm now more consistent in stages one through three, even though I didn't make it any further than I did before. I did three runs in a row where I got through stages up to stage four without dying, like small steps like that. You want to you that's 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 kind of how I look at it. Like, well, I was going to ask expect... you actually. That's interesting because mm -hmm. that sounds like you're doing full runs in between stage stage state practice because you ha you haven't learned like stage four yet, yeah. but you're still doing full runs well, up to stage three. How do you balance that? Like, do you no no that's you get I, up to, like, I, stage I will three, do or? the full out game. But uh -huh. that's I said, I, it, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to try and memorize the entire game just from save states. Like I'm, save stating is basically scouting out for memo traps, more more or less. Yeah. Like sure. the actual routing process comes from actually running the game, uh, for me anyway. Um, and it's again, it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, you're going to have to clamp down more and more depending on how hard the game is. Like, not every game is going to be this difficult, but. It just depends too on like the game itself and where your skill levels at and what you need to do. Like this, this may be complete overkill for for some people, but it what worked out. And maybe, like, you know, like, you know mm -hmm. as you're going through and, and and you were like, let's say you said, okay, your 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 goal that day was to get to stage three or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And and let's say, ah, uh, geez, you're just not able to, or, or or you have a point in that practice session where you're like, should I like push through and like brute force up to stage three? Or, like, is it too hard for me? You know, do you make decisions like that? Do you find yeah, that stuff happens um, where you're like, I'm just not, I set this goal, but it's just not going to happen today. Like, you know, I need to go back and, and do something else or take a break or like, what are your, what's something that, yeah, that's that going to be, that's going to be kind of like how, how you feel. I don't, I don't, I try and even if I'm not feeling it, even if I'm doing bad, I try and okay. do at least hammer out like, you know, two, three credits, like 30, 45 okay. minutes. Even yeah. if I'm like, all right, I just die. I'm, I'm set here for 15 minutes. I've died in stage two every time. Like, I'm not... I mean, yeah, if I'm feeling... If I'm not feeling well at all, of course, I'll step well, away. Well, sure, but, but I'm like, just saying, like... Yeah, you, I'm gonna, you're, you're, you're saying, like, a practice session that didn't meet the goal is still a good practice session because you put in... Yeah, because you're getting you're getting seat time. Run you're time, getting, seat time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Because if you're dying in those stages, you just... You probably... You, you may need to go back. Like, all right, next time, I, I just absolutely got hammered by stage two. I need to start off before I, I start doing my runs. I need to practice stage two a couple times. And... But I, f I learned the like the game as a whole better once I know the memo stuff is by piecing it together in full runs, um, with practice in between to to smooth out tough sections. Would you say? Um, I mean, so for me, right? And I don't know if mm -hmm. for the viewers and stuff like that. That sounds like a lot of work and, and sort of a lot of homework. Like, how do you keep it fun? Like, you know, how do? You I mean, of course, playing the game is fun, but, you know, maybe dying in stage two four times in a row isn't that fun. Like, how do you, or do you, um, what do you do to mix it up to keep it, to keep it fun or engaging, right? Like, how do you stop the sort of fatigue of like, all right, I, I um, can't see stage two again. Like, do you just go maybe go to like <laughs> stage five for a second? Like, jump ahead? Yeah, to, I mean, I, do, I do the last do boss is, or something like that. Like, I'm just not going to like, your pace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like you know, I'll if I'm getting bored with the beginning of the thing, I'll I'll uh and I I will feel that. Like I'll I'll start to get a little bit of frustration, a little bit of boredom, and then you'll you'll notice as throughout this, I'm continually dying in stages one and two, throughout this whole process, and that's some of that's boredom. Yeah, that's why I asked. Um, <laughs> right. No, it's like I I'll go and yeah, and I like even if I know I need to work a little bit more on the early stages, I'll just go and practice the later stages, something like that, and then like try and like you know give myself a little bit of um, of something to like uh even though i didn't make it real far it's like okay i did this one section a little bit better so that's progress it's like you know give I, yourself I'm, props I'm, I'm, give yourself I'm, like yeah give yourself, yeah like, you know some, it's like okay yeah i did i may not have i may not have gotten through and ended and it may have ended poorly but earlier on i figured out one all right i can approach this wave a little bit better so that's one tiny piece you know just adding up all the little tiny pieces together. You know, like, like you know, I've accomplished something. I've accomplished, like, okay, I know that I can do this, or even I know that I can't do this. 
Like uh, that's sure, like sure, okay, sure. I died. That's this. still like, good. Okay, that that's still stupid. good. A good like tech this death right like, here. Like okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I know that I can't point blank those blue ships. Mm. All right, that great. I know that I can't do that. I've learned something today. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah, definitely don't use napalm. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's, what it's point a do you feel like you're like at what point do you feel like you're ready to go, like go for full runs, go for the clear? Like at, at what point do you? I mean, is this a perpetual process? Yeah, it's just kind of a loop until you clear um, or is this yeah, or is there a point where you just say you know what i know everything i need to know i just have to execute i'm just gonna do full runs only um that's okay th we'll talk about that a little bit during the actual clear okay. you're you'll you'll kind of as you get more of a feel for a game like that right there that was a that was a stupid uh well that, that was a, a i won't say stupid that was a i didn't knowledge. know that i couldn't do that yeah yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> knowledge death. It's like yeah, learning learning what you can't do is just as important as learning what you can do, and that's what a lot of this is. Um, <laughs> uh, and even like I said, like okay, that I made it through this section, but that was really messy. Like okay, I need to learn. Know that I, okay, I need to practice that again. Um, it's 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 kind of a loop, you know of. Do a run, go back, save state the section, then go do a run. Like I would start every single section, no matter what, with a little bit of save state practice. Just even if it's just like you know a couple of a couple of them, because all right, last time I died on the section twice. I'll, all right, okay, I'll do fight this boss twice. Or even if I didn't, it's like okay, I haven't fought, I haven't been to stage seven in two days. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna start this, my session with and save in stage seven, both to give me variety and to keep me a little bit fresh on it. Like so here, I finally made it to stage seven. Very next run, die to the stage two boss. Ooh. Like stuff like that's just Ooh. gonna happen. Like Rough. that. Okay. Like yeah, I was kind of aware that that thing might be able to shoot at me, but uh, I didn't know it would actually do it. Like he 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 went and did it. <laughs> he went and did it. Yeah. No. And those guys are shooting continually, shooting from the back, so they cannot be allowed yeah. to live. Or at least you yeah. can. You have to keep moving when they're back there. See, like here in particular, I oh my up god, just a bit what too hit early. you? I I left the I backed up a little bit too early. Okay. This section, you'll find that there's some sections no that no oh matter how God. much you hammer, yeah. they're gonna give you trouble. Those orange ships, I, I, my, I could not wrap my brain around them. And then you may have to take that into account. Did you just like, end okay. up bombing those? I, I guess let's find out here in a bit. But I want to yeah, see what you'll, happens you'll, now. Yeah, you'll find shortly. I'm and then, the, yeah, like I'm starting to make it through. Here's a pretty good one. That last one there. That was the final stage where I game over. Here's oh the very gosh. next run. Back in stage one. Uh -huh. Feeling mm -hmm. good. Just made it to the final stage. Yeah, Let's see wow. what happens. Time to, time to get in there and uh, time to, really, time to get that really... clear. The clear is inside. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> you really don't like those power up carriers. Like why? Like man, you. <laughs> that's the second time now we've seen that, or maybe third or fourth. It's, and it's that's what I'm saying. It's not. It's probably because clear... you think that's because your eyes are not looking at them as a threat, and you're they're look yes. they're thinking ahead. Yeah. That's exactly what's happening. Like, and that's that's the thing. It's not going to be an even progression through the game. Sure. You'll find this is something that happened in, in this game is like i would have like the first oh, two oh, oh, this is pretty oh, funny oh, nice dodging <laughs> and then even though you say that's nice dodging i'm in my i'm in my head making a mental note there it's like okay that's that was not pure luck. Un I, unnecessary that, dodging yeah that's a te that was a, that's a technical death right there <laughs> oh yeah you're on borrowed time is what happened yeah yeah that's like okay your, I your can't brain was still time. thinking about how you <laughs> whoa this yeah the final no, boss? That's, whoa! that's what happened there no this is not the final boss oh, okay that looked pretty gnarly yep and then uh Yep, stage, hey, there's the final stage again, death in stage one. Just looking ahead too much. It's not going to be a, a, a linear progression. Like I said, uh, in the stage two boss, I had it for a while, and then all of a sudden I found that I couldn't do it again, and I didn't know why, and I had to re relearn. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it's, it, crazy. And that stuff like that happens. Yeah, it's it's it, long games. Like, you gotta, it's, 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 it's a marathon. It's not a race, you know? And if you don't mind Before. me asking, like, how long mm -hmm. did this... Because this is all your deaths, so th this isn't too long of a video. Like, how long did this game take you c relative to, like, other games of that same company, like a Raiden or, um, or whatever else? Like, do you feel like this, this is this, the most effort so far? Uh, no, I, I, actually not. And that's the okay. thing. It's like, it seems like a lot. This is totally normal for me. Um, this clear took me right at 17 hours. So oh, I would okay. I would categorize categorize that as on the harder side, but not like the hardest thing ever. Right. Um, right and that's right, one right. reason why I wanted to do this game because that's another thing about this game. It doesn't require any particular like advanced skills. It's just learning the game and executing. And I believe you're pulling up the 
This is your clear. Actual clear. Let me know when you're yep. ready. But yeah, I just hey, yeah, you, you can up. go ahead and just get it going. It's, All right, it's, let's it's do it. A, a so this long. is yeah, this is kind of talk over it. What, well, yeah, I'm gonna call this step seven. Prosper. Yeah. Do the clear. <laughs> get the clear. That, that, uh, that's the thing. You never ever know what run is going to be the clear. Once you get to a certain point, you just gotta roll with what happens in the run. And this is something that would happen. Like I'd be dying early on in the game. I'm like, oh, this is completely off pace. Like, uh -huh. I really don't need to die before stage five. But you know what? I need the practice. I need the time. I'm just going to continue continue the run to get ex more experience later in the game. But, uh, yeah, this this run took me right at 17 hours, which I would categorize that on a little bit on the harder side. Um, I've had games like Gradius 4 took, uh, I think, 45 hours. Um, Raystorm probably took 80-plus hours. Oh, we got a visitor. <laughs> uh um riding dx i want to say that took something like 50 hours uh so it seems like a lot all those deaths in a row but again that's just part of the process that's just part of the practice like i don't i don't save that every time but i wanted to demonstrate that like yeah you're going to die a lot you're going to have you know you're not it's not going to be a quick process i'm not just sitting here and hammering out these these clears like this on harder games like this in an afternoon Right, right. Like it is a full, it is a full process. It just takes time, really. That's the main thing is putting in the time. Um, and it's going to take, you know, depending on your skill set and what kind of games you're good at, it may take shorter. You may do it quicker. It may be longer. It's just, you know, that's just that's just how shmups are. Yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but um. And you, 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 you know, you say that you don't practice and you don't say, say, but you've got a few games clears like this, like a gun nail. That's a straight up, like I would equi so, equi uh, equate gun nail to something like this. I, I, I actually didn't, I played all runs in gun nail. I didn't, there was no, there is no save stating for that port. <laughs> um, well, or, or maybe there's the one know. save state, but I never used it. I did all full runs with gun nail. Um, I, but here's the thing with gun nail. I would credit mm -hmm. feed and uh and just watched my replays a lot like i watched my own replays yeah. quite a bit and just tried to figure out like all right and and it's funny because i had like various different strategies for different sections and mm -hmm. i would just like go okay today i'm feeling let's do this and other other ways i'll be like all right i'm coming out of this section with less bombs or more bombs because there's parts of gun nail that are like truly random because it's these bonus stages where you either oh, get yeah, a ton yeah, yeah. of resources or you don't or whatever mm -hmm. So you can kind of like, but the thing about gun nail that makes it fun to play without save states mm -hmm. is that when you get hit, uh, your score goes up a lot. So uh. if you get hit and you just keep playing and suspiciously get through a section, you'll get like an extend or like a huge score at the end. So, and that can be kind of fun. It's like quite a bizarre game in that way where you're supposed to get hit in the second half of the game, just so your score can go up and you can get that last extend. Um, mm -hmm. But no, I didn't. I didn't save state practice gun nail. I just, I just. Oh, that's, that's but, cool. but, but if you could, but yeah. Well, you see, you say that. But the thing is, is if you look at my clear of gun nail, I think it said something like forty hours of pain for this one CC, whereas it could have been <laughs> oh, yeah, there you probably go. three hours or something, or like five. Yeah. If I really just, because it's not a long game and it's not a difficult game, really. I had some visibility issues with that game, but. You know, the one thing about Gun Nail that I did find was pretty interesting, during, and I did this during a run, is I found out there's a, there's, a, there's a boss where you just stand completely still and all the shots go around you. you just do not Oh, move. yeah, that's fine. There's, so, there's, there's a couple things like that. Yeah. Uh, I did want to speak on one thing while this is going yeah, on. You'll yeah, notice yeah. how I'm, like, preempting these enemies. I absolutely did not, uh, let's say, let's say uh, consciously set out to pre-memorize where every single enemy is but uh -huh. just by just by doing actually. the runs over and over again like i if i sat there and tried to that first save state and so i say all right all right two enemies here one enemies here you know two enemies here point blank the ship i i i, I could never that wouldn't stick for me i have to see them in the flow of the level and then kind of learning learn the flow of the level now, as later on, there is like one or two sections where I did have to actually like count out all right, this many enemies, this many enemies. But 
I don't actually even have to kill the enemies that fast. It's just by by playing so many runs and learning stages like you know one, two, and you three. You just automatically them so much. start to like yeah. say like say like it's a racing game. You automatically start to take corn a little bit faster because you're yeah, like, exactly. all right, I, I just I, I I got this. I can do this without thinking. I'm just going to tighten it up just a little because yeah. it's low risk. Yeah, and that's kind of the point of the whole video. For harder games, it's like I'm still I'm still doing full runs like you did with Gun Nail, but I'm yep. eliminating some of the 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 traps, the the, traps. the harder things. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you still like even after all that, you still have to execute. Like that's that's how I always see it. Like you know, yeah, I'm I'm looking at other people's you replays. Know, I'm would practicing say these gunnail, sections. But gunnail, back to your earlier point earlier in the video mm -hmm. was like, I played the game. I credit fed it, which I wouldn't call it save stating, but it's the same method of scouting, right? I credit yeah, fed so it. Yeah, credit fed can work for some games. Yeah, and oh, I, real well, quick, I just oh, went, let me let me pause yeah, you ahead. real quick there. No, no, no do like this, okay, do this, like this I was saying, and the oh, I actually already showed it a little bit. Like I actually in practice Whoa. came up with this method myself Whoa. even though i started off i st with the other ones i found yeah. that i can reliably do it this way that was a much cleaner way than the one you were well i mean you were showing it live so that's probably why yeah, but like yeah. and you were See, talking at the same look, time but that dead. was clean very clean yeah. nice one bomb method right there yeah and then you'll you'll you you need a starting point of what you can and can't do and like you may get frustrated and like i said that one method just did not work for me so i just sat around in the safe state and just tooled around with the boss Try different things. That's but, cool. uh point blank, yep. bomb, and then misdirect. Yep. And because, uh, like, the one, I think the other replay where it did, it, like, I kind of combined methods. The one replay did the point blank bomb, but he didn't misdirect the, the wide shots. And he was just dodging between them. And, like, I can't, I couldn't reliably dodge like that, like, in a run. So I needed, I needed to give myself more space by misdirecting. So I just added my own spin to that. So that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what yeah, we're Yeah, because you went so wide in the misdirection that the gaps were really big and you were able to kind of yep. come, cut through just twice, I think. It was like yes. just once on the left and then you went all the way up the right side of the screen, came back around because the, the stream had already finished. So it, mm -hmm. it and, and I do want to point out like methods like that where you're macroing whole patterns, nice dodge, by the way, reaction dodge there. That was, that um, was, yeah, that was a little bit. Of, yeah. That's a reaction <laughs> dodge. That is, that was not planned. Oh yeah. Um, that's the thing. It's right? still, it's still a shmup. You know, you're going to be dodging things. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, but it's important to have methods that while they look, they might look crazy because you're just jamming the stick to the right. It's easier mm -hmm. than tapping it precisely at the right moment of something. Like that's mm -hmm. why macro dodging sometimes can work better than micro dodging simply because you're just holding left, right? Cause you know, yes. the pattern's going to end in one, two, three seconds and you'll be able to just go back to your day. And that's one neat thing about this game is even though your ship is super slow and big, the bullets aren't quite so fast that you can't do that. At least for some of them. Like there's some things you just got to get out the way. But it gives you it gives you time. And that's another thing I like about this game is it's it's split into segments. There's lots of nice backgrounds. There's there's little pauses between waves. So that kind of gives me a, like okay, I just fought those two red red ships. Now I know immediately the little aim spinny balls are coming down. Yeah. yeah. Like the the rails like here in this section, like I'm using visual cues in the background. It's like all right, two of those, and then immediately two of those. Once I clear out that wave, I know I need to sit on the third rail, um, mm -hmm. and then kill the enemy. And the the and the uh, then third rail, then first, then second, then third, and then like I don't think anybody did it quite like that in the videos that I watched, but this is just the way that I was comfortable doing it. Mm -hmm. And um. Yeah, this section, that's a memo section. I had, I died there a lot just because I the, saw there wasn't a break. It, it, yeah. It's something to do with the way those things come down and pause in weird spots and then yes. aim at you. Like, so if you're in the middle of the screen, see, I like this. This is some Ikaruga shit that you just stole from Ikaruga. It's very, <laughs> very good stealing. You stay on one side of the screen and just you're hurting bullets extreme, you're doing extreme yep. bullet hurting basically in misdirection. But if you're in the middle of the screen, there'd be too many ratchets of different angles you wouldn't know if a bullet was going to be behind you or in front of you, and it would just, I mean, likely fall apart, especially for games like this where it's not, the bullets aren't perfectly aimed, right? They don't exactly mm -hmm. own it on your, on, your, on your ship, so they could be in front of you, they could be behind you. When there's five enemies, oh, oh dear, right? Yeah. Um, I, like I said, I didn't do much hard memorization. Now, I spent most of my memorization energy on the bosses themselves. Like, Got the it. bosses are basically puzzles in this game. Like, in this mm -hmm. one, I know three, I killed three sets of those waves, okay. then it's going to do the little tap, the little uh, trap pattern that I just tap through. One, two, and three. it does one, and then go back up, back a point blank a little bit, mm -hmm. back down, one more tap, and then the boss is dead. Wow. Now, 
this particular boss, Whoa. if you just immediately go up when it first appears and try and point blank it, it does the shot, the, the pattern early. And that's something that you learn just from oh. you know, trying things out. So if you, yeah. right, right. So if you're like, all right, I know this is three seconds. This is a good run. I'm just going to go up and get a little cheeky damage in. Nope. Nope. No, you're not. It's ready for you. Wow, that's <laughs> stupid. Hey, I hate this game. Um, no, I'm kidding. But yeah, that's, that's uh, oof, 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 oof. Mm-hmm. And you get a little bit of a segment here. I like this section. But, um... Yeah, the music in this game is fantastic. Oh yeah, I, for whatever reason, my my on mine it was like really low. But if yeah, if you're ever watching this replay, just crank it up as loud as you can. Turn up your subwoofer, and then uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, get a get a I, noise noise call on you. We want to make sure. Oh, that's one yes. thing. The uh, I discovered it actually took me embar an embarrassing long time to figure out the how the um, the actual method for how the power ups switch, like the the little uh, letters. Mm. It's very simple. It's like it's just like a metronome. It starts off on whatever letter and then goes in sequence. And then once it reaches all the way to one side, it switches. Goes all the way to the other side, and once it stops, it switches. So it's just very even. Like C is in, oh, then W. Oh, it it does it L. on the edges of the sine yep. wave. So, so you know particular. it's gonna switch. Uh, uh, predictable. So, so no, that's fantastic. So basically, you you know it'll never switch if it's moving left to right at a fast yes. speed. Because it's not exactly. going to the edge of the sine wave. It's that's not like riding sick. DX, where it's like every time you pull up a power up, it has a random chance of know. switching Whoa. after one second oh, or three God, seconds. So terrifying, dude! Oh my! I, it's I'm not even sure if those are random, but it's like so procedurally based that like it might as well yeah, be random. Yeah, you could probably like, influence it some way. Yeah, I was but. noticing that it's, <laughs> it's it's consistent if you nail your timings, but if you're just a hair off of your timings, it's completely different. It feels like yes. some kind of internal clock that you know you can't possibly know, but. I did find that like Rekka has very similar power ups that swing left and right in a sine wave, and mm -hmm. they do not switch that way. They switch whenever the hell they want to, as far as like their timer isn't specific to the sine wave. So there's no way for you to know when they're going to switch other than just watch and pay attention. Yep. That is really now, cool. Now, coming up here yep. is uh, probably one of the hardest sections in the game because this is, you have to, do, there's some dodging that you have to do. Um, okay. Yes, the, nice the, there, you do need Whoa. to know that you nice do need macro. to know the order of the waves coming in. But yeah. here, once the little tanks start popping out and the little things, uh -huh. this this is something that just comes with experience. Like you can memo it, but if you don't know, like you know, a good bit of bullet hurting, and like you know how to control like your screen space, just you're going to struggle with it. Like the use case of why wide shots the only one. Like, yes, there's no way if you like those enemies from the sides. If they were able to get over you, no. Yeah, way. and I actually. I actually got lucky here in just a second. Um, I actually, and I'm not even sure quite how it happened, but you'll see one of those sets of enemies that come in from the left. Oh, oof. Um, I, I push up against the wall, which is a mistake because I corner myself, but somehow I guess I killed them when they were off screen and they don't all shoot their bullets. Like I should have died in that one section. Mm. Um, wow. But, you know, and I kind of noted that during the runs, like, okay, I need to remember, do not go in the corner there or you will most likely die. In case you didn't clear that one, right? Yeah, You're still and I'm not, and like I said, this, I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm getting there. I'm like, I know I'm kind of getting close like that. Yeah, they're right there. I don't oh, know why geez. I didn't shoot all of those, those bullets, but I, I got kind of lucky, even though I, I, I made a mistake. It. Yeah, no, you, you ooh, take those, ooh, but just make ooh. note of them. Yeah, some honest dodging there. Way too honest. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is one of the tougher sections of the game, simply because you do actually have to dodge. Mm-hmm. But it's oh, followed wow. up with a fairly oh, easy wow. boss. And Look I kind of had that. like... Mm, nice and clean. Whoa. Cool looking boss. Yeah. Yeah, this game is just the sounds and the... And the oh, you the just screen really sealed cool. that whole pattern. Yep. Nice. Did you guys see that on the right oh, side? Uh, oh, well then, there, it didn't. Okay. I guess you're leaving him alive. Okay, all right. Yeah, just because I didn't quite there. have time. Yeah, I did start yeah. off trying to kill that, but it uh -huh. got a little bit too tight. No, that makes um, sense. And then you I kind of like, you know, I use for the core to open up to kill it, right? Is that yeah. what happened there? OK, OK, I yep. see. Yeah, like I said, the bosses, I straight up memoed the bosses. Yep, yep. Just because they're kind of they're so particular. They have such nice uh, tells. I mean, I would know, love a sound boss rush cues. for a game like this. I love. Yeah, boss that's rush that's modes. why like, that's one reason why I really do enjoy safe stating is because it's like you're making your own boss rush. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it's you know, you can you can play around with it. So that was um, stage four. Yep, that was stage four. We're now at the halfway point of the game. Whoa, um, long way, long game. Hey, not as long as uh, Raiden. <laughs> <laughs> Raiden's at 45 minutes-ish? Uh, yeah, at least. Jeez, that's insane. And then some of the other ones, like Super Raiden, are even longer. Yeah, this one's a nice, tidy, like, 27 minutes, 28 minutes. Oh, really? Minutes. Oh, that's not too yeah. bad. 
surprising. No, and the difficulty is not even throughout the game. Like, right. this stage is pretty tough, but then the next uh, two stages is not so bad, and the stage, the last two stages really aren't that bad at all. Um, this is a section that I kind of had for a while and then I lost, and you'll just you'll just find that that stuff like that happens. It's like you're you're you know you think you you're just the what direction you're approaching the screen oh. on can influence things, and then you'll find that like okay those enemies are really scary, but they're really not that bad as long as you keep moving. You know, you give right. you have plenty of room. Um, so don't so don't panic and run up and try to kill them because you're worried about the big guy. Yeah, and then like. Uh, Particular things like sometimes those big wide enemies will block for Zako, <laughs> and uh, like that painful. one doesn't. I know that it doesn't. Uh, this is a section where I was oh, kind of hugging the left wall here. Yeah, I'm I'm okay. screen I'm I'm screen sealing the uh, not screen sealing I'm I'm spawn killing the little turret things. Right. This is a fairly tough section, but even so, I'm not really oh. I don't really have the section memorized. Enemies that are that close like... down the bottom of the screen on a Raiden style game are just that's just so terrifying. Yeah, there's it's fortunately not quite as bad as riding. But yeah, like I was saying, this I'm not I don't have this section just straight memorized. I have a a a route. I, I understand the well, flow. Well it seems of like this stage. game has some flow. And you know, like right there, for example, yes. you specifically didn't go to that bottom right corner of the screen, so you saw those turrets peeking yep. out and you were like, I am not gonna go past the middle of the screen. Yeah, and I couldn't remember I, I was like, you know, I I, I didn't quite yeah. remember okay, there's oh, there's geez. like four come out, then two, then yeah, oh this section God. here, check this out. Check what this out. What is this? I didn't learn this myself. I saw I stole I straight up stole this strat. What? 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 Oh, it's just some gun nail shit. Just don't move. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, I hate. Yeah, this. Yeah, it really is. But honestly, you have a large amount of space there. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm noticing that now. Oh, geez. There's this. You so you still went for that method? Of, oh, very. What? That was so clean. Yeah. Exactly. Oh I my tell god! You. you almost died. You that bullet was <laughs> on you. Well, you did die. Jeez. Yes. Exactly. That I was upset about that. It's like. I would sit there and there. practice that boss like five, six times before I would do a run. And then every single time something would happen. I think what happened there is I was a little bit too far back and I didn't kill it quite fast enough. Mm. But like I said before, I noticed that uh, GG Maximo and his run that I was watching, he died right there too. And on his clear. So I kind of like I had accounted for like whatever. Yeah. one death by the halfway point of the game. Like, OK, I know do I'm fine. You, um, I know what kind of resources I need. Do you lose bombs but, in this game when you die? Yes. Oh, geez, how many did you have? I couldn't tell him yet. You had more than uh, one, It though, wasn't right? too many. Oh, here's the one BFB type enemy in the game, and they're, like, totally useless. They I'm actually are up here, like, even if you're completely hugging the bottom of the screen, they just kind of loop around you. Yeah, they're not, yeah, no, trust me. I was playing some trucks the other day. That, that's not, oh, that, my God. That's not that true is definition of... Okay. Okay, let's see that what is, here. That is a different level of memorization. I wanted to talk about that, like, different levels of how much you have to mm -hmm. apply. Sure. Like, for, um... Like, I was playing GG Lusted 3. I mm -hmm. played it a couple runs, and then I was like, turns. okay, this boss kind of sucks. Yeah. Like, okay, I wanted to see, like, how are people approaching this? I watched, like, one or two people fight a boss, and then I just did, like, two or three more runs, and then I cleared the game. It didn't. I didn't have to save state anything, just because uh, for my skill level, it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. But something like Trucks, now, I've actually cleared Tatsujin some, uh, earlier this year, or maybe it was last year. I had to, that's memorization. Like, you have to sit there and count enemy waves. Yep. Yeah. Because it's not like in this game, it's like, oh, cool, this, these, there's the 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 gray ships and the blue ships in the background. So that's kind of previewing, so previewing that's what, what I was enemies say. are coming This up. game seems to have flow. Like, it seems to have... It really does. It's got a nice flow to it. Flow like, to it, yeah, which helps in some, yeah, in some games where you don't need to memorize because if you're on the right side killing enemies, hey, guess what? It's probably going to happen on the left side here in about one second afterwards. Like, you know... Like, for this this stage, uh, I had some trouble with it, so I had to put in a little bit more uh, more work into memorizing. Okay. I had to remember that the big ships, it, it's they come in order of 1, 1, 3, 2, 3. So there's one big ship, then one big ship, then a pair of three, then, or a set of three, then two, then three. Like, that that was all that I needed to do to memorize in this stage, to know how I wanted to approach it, just, gotcha. like I said, more of an outline, like on this one. Now, that one I bombed, just because you can... Do it, but I could afford to use a bomb, and it was just way too risky to try and do it without bombing. Now, if I end up needing, like, absolutely having to have that bomb later in the game, I would have had to come back and come up with a method to no bomb that section. But even yeah. though I could have potentially did it, done it, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, vetting, you know, giving myself a better chance. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's a, like you said before, you don't know you're going to clear this run when you're in the run. Yeah, and you're just like and you want to keep playing, right? I mean. That's another thing. Um, later, late, the later you are in a run, the less risk you want to take. 
Sure, sure. Uh, like, like I know it's much more risky. Usually bomb because I want to keep playing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's one uh, thing though about this game is uh, we don't have to talk about using your bombs because you're not going to panic bomb in this game. <laughs> you just can't. Uh, they just don't come out no, fast enough. It's just, and it's no just way too slow. You may so, see yeah. that you're in a really bad situation, but it's just it, they come out way too slow. Probably too late. Yeah, but um, yes, like I'll I will I will probably have more. Uh, more risky strats earlier Whoa, in a game cool, than a late in game. Yeah, this, oh, is, nice this is reminding me of a trail ring shot boss. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, it's so this is one that, that ended up being a little bit particular. You have to be right up in there to get enough damage in to uh, kill it before it kills you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was waiting for the shot to come out and kill you and then go back to the fails compilation. I was like, all right, where are we heading <laughs> here? This next here? stage is, is uh, really cool. It's one of the more fun stages. It's really not that hard either. Uh, just some, some interesting strategies you use, but uh, but yeah, like like so the second to last a game stage? like yeah, second to last stage. Gotcha. Um, Tatsujin, like there are no visual cues in the background. The music just kind of repeats over and over again. Yeah, that's a good point. And, I mean, think about that. I mean, there's those big like land sections, but it's mm -hmm. hard to there's tell. There's a couple of them. There's a couple of them, but it's hard to tell once you get past those when like you're gonna get like the there's, triple enemy or the ones that come from the back. And I there's can a lot remember of repeating like, sections at too. At least that are yes, or, I can or, at least three different times where you're just in space. Yeah, in you're various just in space. stages. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, just yeah. Out of, enemies just pop up behind, so you have to memorize the waves. I'm gonna add some. And uh, they lo all look kind of same, and it's like that's just that's just what you have to do to get through that game. You you. You got it. You got a good point. I need to add some space trees to Cross Gunner. You know, just maybe like a space mountain, <laughs> and then have something go by. You know, a particular spot. <laughs> I think it depends. But you know, it's, it's like it's... for for games that are that have a lot of repetitive waves, it can get really hard. For games that mm -hmm. switch up waves all the time, you can kind of see. Okay, this is wave A, wave B. Whoa, what are you doing, buddy? Why are you not shooting? This is, is this is why here? I I liked uh, GG Maximo's clear. He spelled out why he was doing this because I wouldn't have quite understood it. This thing will shoot, do that, this little pattern four times, and then on the fourth time, it will then leave the screen. If you just kill it straight away, it spawns like a ton of waves of like annoying Zako. So, um, that's the fourth one. That's and, the fourth one. So he's leaving now. Oh wait. Yeah. Yes, but even even knowing that, I was like, okay, cool. I'll I'll do this strat. Um, oh, you can see the enemy the coming up in the background. But I was like, okay, how do I know how to kill it fast enough? And that, and that like, it took me a while to figure that out. So um, I had to do some experiment. And I realized that one. once you, yeah, there's just two of them. Okay. Once you shoot it enough to the, there's like a big flame in the middle, then you know that it's it's close enough to death that you can kill it whenever it leaves. So you, like, even knowing what to do, you got to actually view. be able yeah, to do yeah. it. So, 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 so far, no big flame yet, right? Still waiting. Yep. Get another, get another round, few hits. Still, and then still, you'll oh, see there it right is. There. There's big the big flame. flame. In the yep, yep, yep. I see it on the top, on the kind of left there. Got him nice and toasty. He's ready left to go. To center. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a s'mores waiting to waiting to get off the ground. And then uh, it's a little tricky on this last little uh, wave here. It's moving back while it's doing oh, that. Ooh, so yeah, ooh, you, you don't have a whole lot of room. Died, dude. That was okay. Now, now here's a pretty here's here's a section like you were talking about. In practice, I for this boss coming up, I accounted for, I, I was expecting a death. Like this boss was just way too hard. Unless I had at least three, maybe four bombs. Uh, right, no, four bombs. Right. It would take four bombs for me to get through this death, but it's just, it's just boss. too much gotcha. for my skill. Sure. It was like, I'm not going to be able to kill this boss in a live run. It's just, it's just way too much going on. I would practice also, it to where like, like maybe once or twice. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I like, I, I had a method for how to get through the boss, but it's like, this is just too crazy. But there's a reason I do that. Um, See, so yeah, oh, I only two had two bombs, bombs here. You just yep, dropped so, them. Like, you auto fired yep. them, I guess. Yep. And I just I wanted to I wanted to take them out. So now, like, okay, I'm just waiting for the death. Just gotta go, gonna make it last as long as I can to get some yeah. damage in. But yeah, sure. there's like crazy bullets everywhere. Turrets spawning. Yeah. Like, oh my god, there's one left. Wait a minute, you got this, dude. Wait a minute. Whoa, let's go, <laughs> two bombs. And that was actually the first time I ever did that. I love it when that happens in a run. Th those yeah. runs make me so happy because I'm always like, oh, I hope I cleared this run because that's like a momentous occasion. Yeah. Or something crazy that happened because you want to like, capture it. But like, like also I, I noticed maybe like a minute or two ago, you got your high score. Like it, the, the ticker started ticking on your high score. Oh, that, yeah. also, that also gives me like goosebumps when that happens and you're uh -huh. getting to the point where you're getting past your last high score. You're like, this is it. This is the run. Like I have, no matter what, 
I will have gotten further and done better than yeah, all my yeah. I was super happy about so that. You're just like I was really it. hoping I was getting the clear, but then, like, yeah. I had a life that was even more. But here now I'm getting nervous. I doubled back because I missed that bomb and I got myself out of position. I needed to be on the far side starting over. Uh, yeah, because this and I this, didn't have enough room. Are they going to be able and to shoot? Like, oh, oh, they God. did shoot. They oh, did God. shoot. Okay, okay, but you made it through somehow. And then I got through it. and I'm like, oh, and now I'm like really nervous because I'm like I'm getting lucky. I'm getting way too lucky, and I'm like getting into my own head. Yeah. And sure. like at this point, the stage is not that hard. It's like I know what to do from yeah, here just on. Go left and right, left and right. Just gotta make sure. Yeah, which side it's, the big it's guys pretty on. pretty yeah. simple. Got it. But, um, but you're on the wrong side. Like I said, nerve, bomb, yeah, then, yeah, this is the best I've ever done. I just uh -huh. did a crazy clear on the boss. Uh -huh. Like, oh, yeah, God, why didn't that one die? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Why didn't it yeah. die? What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> Borrow time. That, that's fine. That's fine. Also, it's not fine because this is your last life. Yeah. No so more now extends. I'm like, oh, God, nerve, nerves hitting. This is the second to last stage, right? So you still have one more stage. No, this is it. This is the final stage. This is the final boss. This is this is the approach on the final boss. This is the approach on the final. Yeah, that's right, right, right. You said that. But this is another reason why you you just do as many runs as you can to try and get those nerves down. It's like you know, yeah, you've. Oh my God! What were you doing? Uh huh? Did you practice that? Or was that just a little bit? Okay, okay, because I wouldn't have. Oh God! Did that dude touched you? He touched you. No, they, they. You actually have a little bit of space on those. No, man. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna <laughs> hold on. Nope. I'm not letting you have that. You think you're having that? I don't think so. Not on live TV. Let's see. Not Let's on see. live television, my friend. We gotta rewind that one. No, sir. Mm mm. That was awesome. Woo! Oh no, dude! Look, just in time. Woo! And I found okay. it. I found it real quick too. That was tight. I found it real quick. Those things actually uh, pause. Like at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if that's uh, are you using. I don't know what meter player that you can do like a frame advance. Oh, oh I'm frame advancing. No, oh, look at that, dude. Look at all that space, dude. Oh, come on. You could, all yeah. Right. I, honestly, though, the, the, the ship, the hitbox is the bread part. The back end of the ship, gotcha. the nose okay. is, is not hitbox. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, that gotcha. was really close. It looked, but it uh, looked that was more or less how I had planned to do it. Good, good. The, the final boss is actually pretty cool on in this game. It's a dragon um, missile. Oh, it's like a spaceship. It's, it's kind of like, like a, a that, what is that? What is that? 19, uh, 19XX or something like yeah, that? I yeah, can't yeah, remember. Sure, sure, sure. There's a couple uh, of games uh, that do 19XX that. 19XX does that. Okay, here's something. Similar, yeah. I had practiced, uh, if I if I had moved to the side like that, the enemy should have stopped spawning on the opposite side, but they wouldn't do that. Yeah, oh, this they, is cool. Yeah, you got to destroy there. the, yeah, you got to destroy the missile. Oh, but there's still enemies coming down. Okay, thank God you can just point yeah. at the missile. All right, at this point, four bombs. I know that that's all that I need. But I, I, I just, just hate the fact lock. that there's little blue. Like the ones you yes, see, those will kill you too. This is the most dangerous thing yes, here. Yes, totally. I give me a pattern so I can see it. Like, oh wow, two bombs, three bombs, four bombs. Not playing at all. I don't want to play. Yep. Yo, <laughs> let's go. That's a cool explosion too. Well worth it. Is that it? Yep, that's GGs, it. GGs, man. Holy but shit. I had. That's another thing too. Uh, Ninety-six percent destroyed. I don't know, man. I think you should redo it. <laughs> for the later <laughs> bosses i would actually practice a couple different methods i would practice without bombs because i know all right if i'm having a crazy run i want maybe, maybe i can pull some late game heroics so it's not ideal but i want to know how to do that for those hey, late ca bosses. hey careful moving around now you never know what these yeah that actually games. scared you me could, you could whenever those yeah. those ships come in came yeah, in i actually because yeah. i don't even even safe stating i wouldn't look past you know I wouldn't yeah you want the ending to be your, your own yeah you don't want to spoil the ending that's kind but of no it actually thing, scared too. me whenever those ships came in behind me <laughs> oh, man. The but no baby, like the i would practice vipers. uh practice with no bombs i would practice with see how few bombs i could go get, get away with without having to do anything you know practice with two bombs if dodging a couple patterns sure like you need to have alternate uh strategies for the later game stuff for the earlier game stuff i would have that pretty locked down but Gotcha. Yep. That's well, GG. That's yeah, much that's it. awesome. That's um, it's an impressive clear. And and you know, while while your clear did did show that there was a lot of work that went into it, a lot of practice that went into it, there are parts in there. You know, like I think you're you're allowed to say rough clear, just like the other guy oh, when yeah. he put it up there. Because I mean, there's parts in there that were unprecedented, and I and I love it. Like that's what I what I enjoy, not only about the genre, but just like I like a clear that has a few moments in it that never yeah, happened before in practice. Yeah, like you're killing that boss with two bombs, you know? Mm -hmm. Like stuff like that and where you're like, oh man, what? And then you get the clear and then, it, but you get to like have that in your clear like, but, and then on the flip side, had I not died on the stage five boss, it's mm -hmm. likely that I would have, I could have no missed the game. Like it's right. just, it's just that, these, these runs are that tight. I had a, a run where it's like, I made it to stage six for the first time, no miss. And then lost all three lives within like a period of 10 seconds. 
Like they just they come and go quick. <laughs> but you can't sure give do. up on the runs. You don't you don't know that like like with that boss there. Like mm -hmm. you know, you just got to keep going. Get more practice in. Get the get the experience. Yeah, get the experience. So perfect. So if we were to run down the method, which we just did, um, it is you know study material. You know assess the mm -hmm. difficulty, research the particulars, get your save states out, practice, uh, and do full runs at the same time in a loop until the clear sort of presents itself right you're never you're never like today's the day i'm gonna go for a clear it's just you're gonna just keep going and do and doing save state practice so do a little bit of save state practice at the beginning of your session go in do a full run see how far you get next day same thing maybe a couple other pieces that you need to tighten up and you just keep going and even if you're not done quote unquote practicing you haven't mastered every part of the game oh yeah somewhere in the middle you're gonna end up with a clear you know, and you can keep yeah. going after a clear if you want. Like, I know oh, yeah, Shmup, that Shmup point Topia, I can like, uh, loves to, like, all right, I got a clear, but I didn't feel like I got the mastery, like, um, and then he's just, like, even, going back and milking bosses and stuff, you know? Like, the scoring, the scoring, like, I learned a little bit about the scoring in this game. It's based off your destruction rate, so you, the, the, uh, by killing every enemy on the thing, you get a, a, a score bonus. So, uh, and that's pretty cool, but I just didn't really have any reason to engage in that. Right, um, right. I right. mean, if I wanted, if I was going for like a scoring competition, I'd want to do that. And then you learn funny stuff like, uh, there's you read one interview where it's like you, it's impossible to get 100% completion. I think on stage four because they programmed some of the enemies wrong and they spawn off off screen and never appear. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. So yeah, just just fun stuff like that. I love it. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks for sharing your method with us. I think a lot of people are going to find this uh, very helpful, very interesting. Um, and, you know, kudos to all of your hard clears, many of which, you know, re in, re require slash utilize this method, which does take a lot of perseverance and practice. I mean, it's, it's not yeah, something, like you said, that you don't just save state and clear. There's, there's a lot more to it. Yeah, but, you know, I enjoy it, and that's why, that's why I do it. So, you, this, and yeah. this is my method. This is work, 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 what works for me. You know, just find out what works for you. Yeah, perfect. And, uh, we'll just try and try and have fun with it. I mean, it's it's yeah. gonna be. There are sections that are gonna be tough. There's gonna be frustrations, but you know, you're 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 playing games. You know, I think it's important where... to uh, make sure you have a buddy you can uh, you can ping on Discord or on oh email yeah, that's or that, that's that's we actually forgot to go over the mo most important step, which is uh, <laughs> complain on Discord. <laughs> yes, complain on Discord. That is vital. Absolutely. To totally. vital. I'm. We're like not even being that ironic. I. There's. Yeah. It's. It's. It's empirical evidence. There's. It's all over the place. A person will come on Discord. I'll go on Discord and just say, I hate this game. I can't get past this segment. This is so <laughs> unfair. I can't believe that ship killed me in that way. How are they allowing this? Call the cops. Right. And then 30 <laughs> minutes later, I'm just like, yeah. So I cleared that. Um, yep. Chill game chill game yeah not too bad i mean that one section kind of sucked but whatever um so it's yeah but i, I think it. there's there's something there's something about being able to at least if you bounce your mistakes off of other people most of the time they can laugh at them for you make you feel a little you know it's like oh this was at least mm -hmm. this was entertaining to watch you fall over yeah, that trash can maybe it, it sucked right and your knee hurts because you <laughs> tripped over the trash can and slid down the driveway but it made for a pretty cool <laughs> video for everyone else so it's like you know it, it's it's like that that's and, and so you know get a buddy get a buddy like honestly you can play shmups in a vacuum if you want but um, you know, Chinop and I we're on different skill sets but we still we still email each other fails of, of, of like and he'll still look at stuff in mind and just go, excellent, right? Great job. You know, that <laughs> enemy just showed up out of nowhere and just took your face off. Like, awesome. And then he'll send me shit where it's not that different, to be honest. Even though we're on complete, you know, completely different sort of skill journeys at the moment. Like, th that concept of getting hit by something or just failing a run in the last moment. Mushi is a great example. Everyone has that experience in Mushi where there's 10% oh or less on that last giant it is, green it is beetle. It is legally required, it's to, required. Uh, to die on the final phase of Mushi. It's required. It's, clear. it's as required as the Dino Ricky lily pad jump. And you just got to go <laughs> right past that lily pad, just go swimming with the fishes. So, you know, yep, make like it social. Compilation. Yeah. <laughs> Three deaths on the first metal carrier. Oh, yeah. Is that the first one? I could play it again. But um, Very, Yeah. Well, you guys can check it out. I'll have links below for various practice methods, including this one. I'll have links below for, of course, the beginner list. If you're wondering how we got to this point, I'll have links below for Chinop's Clear and also the compilation whenever he posts it uh, when we get there. So 
you know, and, and just check out his channel, obviously. That's, you know, when we talk about the first part, which was study materials, right? Guys, I go to Chinop's channel first. So he goes to other people, right? But there's so many, <laughs> there's so many hard clears already on his channel. He is doing the work for you and a lot of this stuff. So, I, you know, skip over World of Long Plays and Paul Eels and stuff, and maybe then check out Chinop's channel, um, and then maybe check out like a Jamers or an Icarus or or a Uber Virtuoso or STG Weekly Peg. type channels. Yes, Peg. Oh, Peg. Peg's too good, man. I, I'm like, yeah, I look at a pretty, Peg clear and I'm like. Good. Dang, you're too skilled. I, I can't copy this because I suck. Um, but 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 yeah. So you know, check out his channel. I'll, you know, obviously you guys should all know it. If you don't, if you're if you're a viewer or a listener of mine, you don't know Chinopolis. Fucking stop that shit. Get your get your sub on. Um, the clears come out fast and furious. They're all fun games. Uh, you also got Meg over there in the household clearing. You know, slightly easier modes from time to time. Other games. So there's a good smattering. Got some co-op clears over there. Every known Darius. Uh, route to man uh, like 40,000 <laughs> kingdom grand prix clears including a two all like that's a vault over there um so if you're playing a hard game i mean there's a 75 percent chance chinops cleared it uh but if he hasn't you know follow the method have fun we'll put all the links below uh comment comment about your hard game experiences yeah, below let us, let us know you, how you, you approach these games yes how you approach them how you don't approach them what you liked, what you didn't like. Tell us about your experiences. That's the sharing the war stories is a uh, is a oh, fun yeah. aspect of this to me. Yeah, we all, we most of the time we only see the the finished product, yeah. but uh, not the uh, not the the pain that goes into it. That's right. Uh, excited to get that fail compilation. That's going to be in Chinops you know channel at some point. He'll be uploading it. You know, you want to make sure you hit that hit that sub so you can get that thing direct delivered hot <laughs> DoorDash to your front door. Uh, Viper Phase One straight into the first power up carrier stage one expert player oh, yeah. strategies. <laughs> and um, check out check out Viper Phase One while you're at it. Pretty cool, cool game. game. Yeah, really. And at the very least, nice. check out the soundtrack. <laughs> man, it is good. Uh, Ch Chinopolis is actually a a, a self absorbed uh, uh, arcade and shmup gamer soundtrack aficionado. Constantly yeah, that's, exploring that's, soundtracks. I we gotta do a soundtrack reason video why I next picked this time. game. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. Well, step zero: find a good soundtrack. Step one: <laughs> figure out what game it's attached to. Step exactly. two: is the, dude, difficulty assessment. That's <laughs> not not even that's not even like a joke. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We reveal the true method at the end of the video for those yeah. that are still here. <laughs> well, thanks for having uh, yep. or coming over rather, Chinopolis. Yeah, thanks uh, for having me. Yep, love it. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.